Hello, <clears throat> if you are suffering from snoring or sleeping apnea, my first suggestion is to go to a doctor to uh, visit an ENT uh, expert to find a solution. But if you already gone and or if you don't want to go, I have uh, witnessed a lot of a lot of cases who are totally overcome from sleeping apnea and snoring only by breathing techniques. Main reason of the snoring and sleeping apnea is not proper breathing. If you breathe uh, properly all the day, then your way of uh, breathing while sleeping will be, uh, turn back to normal way. First of all, apply the proper breathing uh, indicators. Uh, make sure that you are inhaling and exhaling from your nose properly and uh, take a huge capacity breaths, capacity of your breath. And please, if your number of breaths per minute is more than 12, make some exercises to make it lower. And also please make sure that you are inhaling and exhaling from your diaphragm, from your lower uh, lobes of your uh, lungs and also you can use these exercises to prevent and treat your uh, snoring and apnea problems first of all the reason of that is that they are sagging you know how our outer body how our um, skin is sagging our internal organs are also sagging and nasal passage is also sagging then because of this uh, sleeping the disorders start at the uh, by the age or uh, snoring and apnea problems first of all let's make it how when you make exercise your body becomes fit and let's make nasal fitness nasal and uh, oral fitness <clears throat> uh, please put your teeth and the back of your uh, lower uh, teeth, sorry, put your tongue on the back of your low, uh, upper teeth and push it. Push, push, push and tense it. Feel the feeling tons of tense of here in your throat. I am pushing hard. Push and feel the tense of feeling here. You feel that this ten feeling of tense in the in your nasal area, and also if you can make everybody doesn't have to make it. Make like this. You see, I'm playing with my throat and strengthening this inner nasal area. I know the sounds and it's not very good. And also to strengthen it, put your hand like this and I'm uh, applying pressure with my head. But the pressure shouldn't be at the back of your uh, neck, okay? Here, in, the, in your throat. Feel the, uh, don't feel it here, okay? Back of your throat, feel it here. I'm putting pressure as much as possible. Putting pressure from here, I'm putting pressure with my head. And feel the feeling of tense here. Putting pressure from my head and with my hand. And I feel the feeling of tense here in my throat, inner throat and nasal area. Now let's make it more advanced and combine these two exercises together. Hand here, I'm pushing my head, I'm putting my tongue behind my upper teeth and applying pressure. And now I feel much more tense here, much more, much more pressure in my nasal area inside. You can combine them and also <clears throat> while doing anything and nothing else, just put pressure in your throat. I'm putting pressure now in my throat. Tensing, tense inside your throat, tensing. I'm now tensing, tensing, tensing. I'm feeling the pressure here. You can apply them anytime, uh, a few times a day. I don't suggest you special numbers, but as much as you do, you will see that as exercise. Don't push yourself hard. 
Again, my first suggestion is to go to doctor, but you can overcome by these breathing techniques and these simple exercises and have a high quality sleep.